Hi, welcome back to the Photoshop Training Channel.com. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this 90 second Photoshop tip, I'm going to show you two ways to save your color adjustments or color grades in Photoshop. The goal is to keep the adjustments editable so that you can apply them to any image and fine tune them if you need to. In this first technique, we will work with a color grade applied to this image using just one single adjustment layer. In the Properties panel, you will see the adjustments that I made on each slider to create this effect. If you're only using one adjustment layer to create a color adjustment or color grade, then you can save it as a preset. Click on the Properties panel flyout menu and select Save Selected Color Preset. Name it. I'll call mine Color Grade. I'll save it. The next time that you create a selective color adjustment layer, you will see your preset within the preset dropdown. When you select it, Photoshop will apply the same adjustments. You can save a preset within all adjustment layers. No matter what adjustment layer you use, you will always be able to save its settings as a preset. But what about if you're using multiple adjustment layers to create an effect? How do you save all these adjustment layers to apply the same effect to a different image? And most importantly, how do you keep the adjustment layers editable? The answer is to use Creative Cloud libraries. For this second technique, you will need Photoshop CC. All you need to do is go into Window and Libraries. In the Libraries panel, click on the Flyout menu and select Create New Library. I'll call mine Color Grades. Then, I'll click on the Create button. You can now save assets to this library by clicking and dragging them into it. Click on the group that contains your adjustments and drag it in. Once your layer group is inside of your Creative Cloud library, it will sync to all your installations of Photoshop and you can use it anywhere on any image. To apply your color effect, all you need to do is click and drag it into the layer stack while holding Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac. Let me first show you what happens when you don't do this. I'm just going to click and drag the library asset into the layer stack without holding any keyboard shortcut. Notice that Photoshop places the asset as a single smart object linked to the Creative Cloud. That's what this cloud icon on the bottom right represents. I'll move on to a different photo to show you how to place the effect properly. Hold Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac and click and drag the library asset into the layer stack. This time, Photoshop places the actual group with all the adjustment layers. Everything is editable, and you can fine tune the adjustment layers to better work with the new image. If you enjoy this 90 second Photoshop tip, then click on that like button now. If you want to find out how I created this color grade, then check out this tutorial. I'll place a link right below in the description. If this is your first time at the Photoshop Training Channel, then don't forget to click on that subscribe and notification button so that you don't miss any other Photoshop tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in the next tutorial.